Well, good morning, everybody. A few people were asking me to get a video up because they haven't seen one for a while. I must admit, I haven't done one for a while. I was taking a break and also um, I've got no room on the phone, no storage, and I only edit on my phone. I don't use a computer. Anyway, this is a small tied up, and I say small, it's minute, but I thought I would just video it just to show you, and it could just, I don't know, maybe help someone. Now, these stones are there as well, but they've grown over. So what we're going to have to do is... You can go through it with a with a fork or a rake or anything, but all the all the stones are going to be stuck to the root soil, the soil and everything. So what I've uh, made my mind up doing is clearing what I can with the rake now. And even this, this is why I wanted to show you. Just you see things like this, and people just walk past that to go in the door every day. They don't really notice it, but the difference when it's gone is unbelievable. So this um, is going to get all the dead taken off it and then trimmed back to neatness. Um, that one probably, I don't know, it is coming up from the bottom, but anyway, we'll sort all that out. I'll rake all this out the way and I'll put weed killer on and then we're going to wait for that to die back before we clean everything up. And then the rest is just obviously weeds as well, which will be tidied up. Round the back, again, it's just such a small job. It doesn't really warrant a video, but I'll video it anyway. All the weeds in the patio, I mean, I think if you followed me before, you know what I'm going to do because it's a tidy up. They should... Actually, no, sorry. Forget that, what I've just said. I was going to say what I usually do is I trim it all down and then I wait for regrowth to come up and then I can put weed colour on it. The reason why I do that is you can't say to someone, look, um, I've, I've tidied up, but it's still like that dying because it'll take a few weeks. But I've got to wait for the front to die anyway, so I might as well do the back as well at the same time. Again... Just mowing the grass, that's simply it. It's you know, it's not a biggie, like I said, but just even simple things like tidying this little corner up, nothing major, but just you know, just putting a straight line on it, clearing that up. You'll see the difference anyway, you'll see what I'm talking about. And then this is sort of a border, but not a border, there's no edge, there's no straight line. So I'll cut, I'll put a straight line on there, clean all the weeds out, that'll look like a border. And then this laurel is taking over the garden, it's actually touching the um, satellite dish and everything so that's getting cut back but that will look skeletal it will look bare because I'm going to take it right back to the fence which is here you can see it has been done before look so someone has had an attempt but some of these big branches haven't been touched so I've brought the shredder and we'll get that back we'll get that back to the you know there's quite a bit to come off that so probably worth videoing all right guys let's get on with that Right, well, I've moved then. <clears throat> it's only about halfway through the job, but I've tidied up. Obviously, if you hit the two of you or three of you, whatever, someone can be moving them as you're working. But I'm on my own, so I've got to tidy up the job as I go, keep it safe. But a few people have asked me when they've watched my chipping videos, they've said, "Why do you bother moving all the all the branches and everything? You're moving them twice. Yet yeah, you are moving them twice. But it's either it's a fifty-fifty choice. You can either start the sh chipper." and walk up and down, dragging the branches over to it from where they fell. Some of them mightn't be prepared, so all while you're doing that, the engine's noisy for neighbours, noisy for yourself, using fuel. Believe me, to use a lot of fuel. You know, you want to use as least as possible. So what I do is I prepare all the branches, I pull them off out the site where I'm working, stack them all neat, ready to go in the, in the chipper. I will be moving the chipper. So they'll just go in the chipper and everything's neat. And they're all prepared, so they can all go in now as they are. So, obviously, sometimes when people see me moving them, they wonder why. That's why. But what I'll do is I'll leave them there now. They're out the way. I'll take the rest of these down. And depending on how many there is, start piling them up there. Or chip, I don't know. It depends. There's no law. You can do what you want. But what I'll do is try and see how many I can get down and see what the space looks like. But, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a massive, massive pile. They're still all going to get chipped. Let's get on with it.
Okay, well, <coughs> you wouldn't think I was professional. I've only brought one bin. I didn't think it was going to take that much, to be honest. So, <coughs> I'm going to leave this shredding for now, because I've got to come back anyway. So I'll just take that one bin when I'm done, now today. Um, come back and shred all that. But while I'm here, I'll tidy this little corner up, and we'll put tidy this little thing up, and we'll put a little straight edge here and get this sorted. Might as well do that while I'm here. Okay, that's done. Just let them uh, dry out now. They're a bit muddy. So this corner, as I say, it doesn't look much, but drastic different when it went difference when it's done. Um, couple of pallets there, which I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't priced to take them away or whatever. So I'll move them out the way and put them back probably. Right, let's uh, scrape up the front, clear up this mess, and we'll take this dead off, and that'll make a big difference. Well that's cleared up, what are we going to do with the yucca now? Trim it up I think, and get it looking a little bit more uh, pleasing.
All right, we'll let it a bit neater. And uh, we'll just get everything scraped off the floor now that we can loose and then apply some weed color.
okay, the weed killer to put round here has worked fine, but round the front it hasn't. So this has just got to have a slight little tidy up. Um, but I'll run the mulching mower over everything as it is now, just check for any stones, and then I'll blow whatever else there is into that border, but I've still got to clean the border up yet. So we'll go and get some bags, get all the bits up, and then we'll get the mower on. Okay, so that's that's all mown now. So what I've got to do is blow everything off because um, there's still a few little bits of twigs and stuff like that. So, and I'll just take the trim around the edge just before I blow. So I'll do that now. Okay, all done. So what have we got? Have we got a fantastic garden? No, we haven't. No one's professing that we have. What we have got is a garden that the landlord can rent out confidently and then it's up to the tenant then to look after it. So basically it's just a quick tidy up. I mean no lawn treatment or anything like that. Just clearing up for the new tenant. So I'll show you the front. So not too happy about the front. The weed killer obviously hasn't done the trick. But we all know the weed killer works don't we? For what I done on the lawn, well I shouldn't have done it on the lawn. If you follow me Facebook or Instagram you'll find out. Uh, I'll put some more weed colour down now on the front. Hopefully that should do it. But if we get rain, it waters it down and thins it out. But we'll do our best. Put some uh, weed colour down now. Oh, by the way, this muddy patch here, they've had some work done in the kitchen. So that was the builder's van. So, thanks guys. Well, obviously, a couple of weeks later, and I don't think it's as dead as I wanted it to be, but well, I, I still think I'm going to struggle. But what I've done is I've brought, it's a little machine I bought for a job at least five years, maybe four or five years ago, at least four, so maybe five, uh, and I didn't even do the job. So basically, it hasn't even been used. So it's been in my lock-up in my unit since, but I'm going to try and use it today, I think. If it was drier, it would be the ideal machine to use. It's not dry, it's still wet, and I think the roots are still going to be gripping onto the stones. You know me, all I can do is do my best. I mean, at the end of the day, you can rake through it, fork through it, you'll do it, but it'll be a bloody nightmare, and I don't want a nightmare. I want a quick, easy job, get paid, move on to the next one. So I'll get the machine out, and we'll see if it works. Okay, well, that's uh, aborted, that plan. Everything seems to be getting aborted lately. That's the sieve I brought, and the idea was to put the stones through. And okay, it might not have worked because it's wet, but that's the idea anyway. But regardless if it's wet or dry, I haven't brought the extension lid. So it's usually in my van. I don't know why I took it out, but it's not there. So it's just going to be the old manual claw and go through it. And that's it. So you know me, not one to moan. We will do it, but it's a pain in the ass now. Let's get on with that. So this was not going to be the plan but I mean okay it's going to take a bit longer but we'll get there and the problem is in this area here 
they've drove over it, so it's squashed it all down. Not only is the roots, but it's all squashed. Anyway, we'll get there. Yeah, I was gutted when I couldn't get the machine going. But to be absolutely honest with you, it would have been pointless. That's just absolutely sodden. I mean, I've just got some stones out, but they're just stuck, see? I will get a couple out, because I don't want to take all the stones away. But there's no way that that would have gone through the machine and separated as dry soil. So it would have just been a big load of clay, wet soil inside the sieve. So that's not going to work. I'll just do that, get out by hand what I can. Oh, so just get what I can off, obviously. Yeah. Needs a good wash, a good, I haven't got the hose pipe with me because it's been peeing down for I don't know how long. So the last thing I wanted to do is put a hose pipe in my van, which I should have done now, but I didn't. So no lead, no hose pipe. What are you, Mr. Hanley? Nobby knob. Yeah, to be honest with you, it's gotta it's gotta be dry and I can get more up, but I, I can at least get it looking presentable. You know we're fighting against the weather. I mean, I'm not sure if you can pick that up, how wet that is and muddy clay. It's just not the ground. It's just this particular day or, or time of the season, whatever, is not right for separating the stones and the soil. As I said, I'll do my best. 